Welcome on in, this is Captain Obvious, and if you don't know me, I primarily play vanilla with minimal to absolutely no mods. And today we are going to use our vanilla city management knowledge to easily beat the fix the traffic scenario. To win, we need to fulfill two objectives. First is to have at least 82% traffic flow and to have a population over 35,000. Our losing condition is if our population drops to 25,000 or we play more than 200 game weeks. Okay, let's get started and see what we are going to work with. Damn, look at that. Other than the obvious traffic, we immediately see a lot of garbage accumulation, death, and some crime. Let's check out the situation of our traffic. It is at 61% at 31,000 population. Oh, let's uh, have a closer look at the road layout. So the traffic, yeah, that that is terrible. And th there, you saw that some cars are beginning to despawn. So the traffic is so bad that cars despawn. However, there are some players who have the wrong impression that vanilla gaming is easy because cars despawn unless you have the hard mode mod to remove despawning. However, despawning only occurs when you have severe traffic like this. But if your traffic flow is smooth and clear from the start to the finish, then hard mode is not necessary. Let's check out the rest of the road layout and look at those interchanges. Yeah, I'm just shaking my head in disbelief. Uh, let's check out the other side. Apparently, this two-lane road cannot sustain the amount of traffic that it is receiving, and this clover leaf is not necessary. However, we are going to respect the original road layout and we will do the least amount of road edits as possible. Because if we apply our own city build style, then this can take a really long time. Therefore, we are going to primarily focus on city management. We are going to keep this clover leaf and we are going to keep this monstrosity. And we are also going to keep these interchanges. However, we will do very simple and slight edits to this section and elsewhere when necessary. Let's see what we have going for us at least. We are on two game tiles. Okay, we will not expand beyond that. And we also have 31,000 population. And yet our city education on all three levels is also terrible. Therefore, this is the first thing that you wanna fix because even before you reach 10,000 population, the university becomes available so your citizens can receive higher learning to work in offices instead of the dirty yellow industry. Office taxes can better increase your city's economy and replace the use of dirty yellow industry altogether, which not only reduces pop pollution but also reduces the need to use industry trucks. In other words, it's more money, less traffic. Therefore, we will first dezone all the yellow industry along with the high density commercial buildings because we do not want them to be competing with offices for highly educated workers. Because of all the dezoning, we've lost power on some areas and they will need to be reconnected. We will now proceed to toggle off the traffic lights, which should further assist in reducing traffic. Well, this is annoying. It appears that we are still experiencing power disconnections and one thing we cannot afford right now is a death wave. What we do need is to reach 32,000 population so we could get that ever needed extra income for reaching the next milestone. Slowly yet surely the pollution is dissipating and we can proceed to zone in offices and low density commercial. 
the city does have some highly educated citizens, so we should not worry about not having enough educated workers for the new offices and commercial areas. We are completely out of funds, but our negative weekly income is reducing and we should see some positive income soon. We are also going to help this move along quicker by going times 3 game speed. And just like that, we are now a capital city at 32,000 population with positive income from offices and we are also given additional bank to purchase more schools. Our bank will eventually deplete again but this time we are in the positive income so it is just a matter of time before we can afford to purchase more schools. So for the meantime, let us proceed to remedy this monstrosity of an interchange. A reminder that we are not trying to make anything here look pretty but instead work with what's already there and make a few adjustments to have everything function properly. This interchange has two redundant left routes but instead of deleting one of them, we will extend this bridge and create a new route before it reaches the highway. Therefore, the vehicles from the south can exclusively use the north route to make a left while the vehicles from the east can take the bridge before reaching the main highway. As a result, there is now less traffic going through the main highway. And just like that, we were granted 300,000 simoleons for optimizing the traffic. And the first thing we will do is purchase more schools because that is the right way to be a mayor of a city. We do not pocket the money. This is not Tropico. This is City Skylines. Okay, that is enough schools for the meantime. We need to save up some money in case we need to adjust any roads or whatnot. Speaking of which, let us take a look back at our minor adjustment we made in the interchange. Wow, would you look at that. Look at how much the traffic has completely dissipated on the right side and all we did was make one minor adjustment. Now looking at the left, it also has the same redundant route and we again just need to make one minor adjustment and all the traffic should be gone. And almost immediately, the traffic is completely gone. These are the first two roads that we adjusted throughout this entire playthrough and it was just a matter of analyzing of what was missing or in this case, what was redundant. We now have an enormous demand for offices and some commercial. Basically our people want jobs after graduating from school. So let's give the people jobs. And what we can focus now is increasing our population to 35,000, which was the second stipulation on winning this traffic scenario. We are not out of the woods just yet. Since our demands have flatlined, let's keep ourselves busy by demolishing these abandoned buildings because they actually further reduce attractiveness and land value in the area. Now let's increase the attractiveness by adding the Paradox Plaza which is also a nod to City Skyline's 6th birthday a few days ago. I am also going to continue to delete abandoned buildings and zone more commercial and offices when we find a space available. The last remaining traffic is this and it appears like the quickest fix is to simply increase the number of lanes and that should be the end of that. However, before we proceed, I am going to add a trumpet interchange at the south which should provide an alternate route for the south quadrant. Despite the fact that there is no traffic in the main highway, it is always good practice to add an alternate route to further reduce future traffic. So instead of everyone bottlenecking into this interchange, we will now divide the two tiles into four quadrants, where the northeast and west can take the north interchange while the southeast and west can take the south interchange. 
Please do not mind that the trumpet interchange looks a little janky because the purpose of this video is to simply resolve the traffic issue and to explain the mindset on how to accomplish this. Many similar issues occurs to other aspiring city mayors and perhaps the tips and tricks in this video will help viewers find solutions similar to their city dilemmas. At this point, the trumpet interchange is considered complete. But let us not forget to add routes to get off the highway and into the southeast quadrant. And on the north side, let's provide an alternate route by providing a bridge to get across instead of going through the interchange. The traffic situation here did not change and the solution to this is to simply add more lanes on the road. And almost immediately, the traffic simply vanished. Also notice how we did not use any sort of public transportation or even tunnels to solve the traffic issue. We are just on two game tiles. If you apply your roads properly to prevent bottlenecking by providing several alternate routes, then you should not have any traffic issues. It finally appears that we completely ran out of areas to zone and we just need to create our own roads to further grow the city. Again, we will avoid unlocking any more game tiles because two tiles is more than enough to reach 35,000 population. There is also ample space to fill in more roads. Other than adding the trumpet interchange on the south and making tiny edits to the north interchange, this is the only time we've actually added more roads to Appletown. Our current traffic flow is at 92% and it appears that if needed, we could simply upgrade from a 2-lane road to a 4-lane or 6-lane road to further reduce traffic. But I am intentionally avoiding to alter too much of the original core build of the city. The road expansion layout will be of our own design which will be organic grid that is simple, attractive, versatile, that can adapt to any terrain. You can also notice that there is a tiny demand for residential, so preparing zonable areas is the right move since we've already accomplished to improve the stipulated traffic flow of over 82%. We actually ran out of money from all the road building. But that is because I missed to increase the maximum tax of 12% for each zone type. Nevertheless, this is also an opportunity to zone some areas and we are going to continue to ignore the cracking of the terrain when buildings are constructed. The foundation of the city was already built in that manner and that we are already strapped on cash to worry about managing the landscape. Just look at how quickly our weekly income has spiked. Despite the city's early traffic issues, it is beginning to thrive and more sims want to move into Appletown. Let us not forget to add the city essential services such as death care, which the cemeteries will also provide a slight boost to the area's happiness. Slowly yet surely, the city will continue to grow, so we will continue to fast forward the time lapse. If you are interested on seeing my actual city build and management style, you can check out these series, links in the description, which have a comprehensive guide on how to start your city from 0 to over 100,000 population while maintaining over 90% traffic flow with minimal to no mods. I specialize on providing tutorials on how to manage your city and once you have perfected the foundation on city management, you as the mayor can focus on other aspects of the city such as design. In my Let's Play series, as the city grows along with the episodes, it also covers how to build up economy, transportation, and the ever-popular traffic management. It also covers advanced guides to industry, campus, and parks, and other popular topics such as how to fix city issues with death waves, not enough goods, not enough workers, and whatnot. The series is basically an all-in-one from start to finish. From this point of the traffic scenario, I have decided to activate the extra landscaping tools mod so I would not have to continue to plant the trees individually. 
And as we continue to decorate the city with trees and rock formations, the city is definitely looking much better from her former self. It is almost hard to tell that this was the same city from the beginning and yet we barely made any major changes. It was just tiny tweaks in all the right places. And finally, we have won the traffic scenario with relative ease. Our updated traffic flow is at 89%, which is far beyond the required 82% to win. This was an awesome experience and I am glad to have been able to showcase that sometimes traffic can be remedied with just a few minor adjustments. This is Captain Obvious, thank you for watching and I hope to see you again in the next video.